Hello. No. Hi. We doing it. Hey. It's, we're hey. back. We're back with Batwoman. With <laughs> Batwoman. I wish. Bat, no, Bat, no, Star right. Wars Batwoman. That's going to be a that's going to be a day where we record the first Batwoman. We're the biggest fan community of Batwoman, I think on the internet. <laughs> I think so. Exciting. Yeah. Certainly yeah. the most passionate, we can say that. But we're not actually doing Batwoman today. We're doing a show of higher caliber. Would you guys agree? We're doing that... a show that is one better. <laughs> one better. So, good job, Maddo. Uh, hey, it, it has more money, so... It does have true. more money. And more actors. Because the, the, there's fame. nothing about Batwoman that comes across as cheap. No. Only the best for Gotham. I called the show never intended to watch, but I got dragged to the EFAP mine, so I have to watch it now. <laughs> you love it. It's about space bounty hunters. That's your thing. Uh, no. You can disconnect your modem at any time. Yeah. You wish <laughs> to flee. escape this hell, this living nightmare. So, oh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> without any, like, spoilery stuff, what have you guys heard about this stuff? I, I have heard all of the mixed uh, things. I've heard I've... good, great, terrible, bad, and okay. Yeah, I've heard pretty much the same, that it's all right, that it's okay, that it's not good, that it's really good, all over the place, which is in stark contrast to what we've heard about Mando season one, which was that it was excellent and yeah. amazing and Pretty much across incredible. the board, high reviews. So, so oh, if they think that Mando season one, a solid three out of ten, is good, then... What is this going to be? I'm I curious. Mean, I, uh, I think I've heard that there's something to do with frog people. I know <laughs> oh my god. Much. Do you, do you, oh, would okay. you rather excuse yourself? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> my people. Have you seen Muppets well, from Space, Springy? Uh, no, I don't think so. No? All right. Well, then. Well, I, right. I, what I do know, by the way, is that when it comes to the frog people in this show, like, the subtitles say, like, speaking in frog, yelling at each <laughs> other in frog. That's amazing. In frog. Their language yeah. is frog. <laughs> yelling yeah, in frog. Yeah, their language is frog. It, uh, I'm no, it's sure. ice frog. <laughs> Why would they put alien language? Why would they put frog? <laughs> I don't know, because they're, they're like frog aliens. <laughs> I doubt the language is called frog, but all right. Like, it would be just, well. I mean, croaking. is there any human language called human or like exactly. like is, is how languages <laughs> work? That would be interesting. Like humans to enter into a larger civilization in a galaxy, and like all the other aliens refer to their language as human. All of them. There's We'd no be like, it's English, and they're like, shut the fuck up. It's human. It's human. It's human. Shitty humans. And somebody who's speaking Chinese. Oh, that's also human. It's all human. <laughs> Not That's to, a weird, weird human. Not to delay watching this episode, but I always like the idea that if humans were entering into a galactic sort of civilization, we would probably be the worst in terms of technological advancement or uh, even control over emotional decisions and stuff, but that humans like would have one thing that's better than all of our aliens or something, and it's usually tied to like determination or sort of uh, maybe yeah, even teamwork, and, something like that. Yeah, they're, they're uh, generally... Uh, <clears throat> kind of portrayed as very tenacious, very yeah. hardy. But here's the thing, wouldn't every alien species that is better than us be more determined and tenacious than us by virtue of them getting there first or no. getting there first? I don't know, it depends. Uh, depends on if they started first. Yeah, if they, yeah I guess so, no, right, you know, yeah. First. Because if, but, you know, if we're the worst, but we, you know, got here way quicker, <clears throat> then, yeah, I so. Yeah, we could be like, ugh, humans, belligerent, stupid, and uh, really low-tech. And then you could have that one alien who's like, I do respect them, though. They are. They have quite a bit of blah, blah, blah. And I just, I just like the idea that it's like, yay, humans aren't useless. <laughs> we have I mean, something uh, about is that. Is, is that wishful thinking, though? Like in, in I don't know. We have I'm no talking idea. about a fictional like thing a, and not like a real thing. Yeah. For all yeah, I know, we are the most advanced be, alien. Like, it, it's possible that, you, I mean, that would be interesting for a sci-fi story, that humans are actually almost like super-powered creatures to other other races. Maybe other races are small and short-lived, and they're not really all that bright, and they're not clever, and they don't have very, you know, they're, they're just not all that great. They just have been around a lot longer. And mm. so we're tall. We can sustain grievous wounds. We can lose limbs and not die. Our bodies can self-heal. Um, yeah, we can, you know, we get over sicknesses, all the stuff that we consider mundane. Yeah, from like the they right. can see in all these colors. From the right POV, we could be seen as superheroes sort of thing, and then... Yeah, we could be the elves of the Lord of the Rings world. 
It's just the things that we consider mundane, maybe to a fictional the alien holiest. race, are like incredible. Like, holy shit. Like, they live to be like 80, 90 years old, probably longer in the future. They could live to, they could live for a century. That's incredible. Wow, Mando's so boring. We've tangented before beginning it. Speaking of science fiction. <laughs> When we saw episode uh, one, we were like, this has got we potential. Happy. Yeah. And then we watched the rest of it. My oh, that's fucking really the dude who was running toward Baby Yoda yeah. when he's got a guy behind him with a rifle to convey vaporize uh, people. It's like, you should they probably... Were, the choreography in that fight is really shitty, too. Like, you could clearly see Mando, like, missing a cue and stuff in the back. Of no, the, oh, like, it's bad. Oh no, don't remind me about this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, so you have something bad. I want to flamethrow. Dude, uh, yeah. <laughs> episodes 7 and 8. Holy shit, are they bad. They were terrible. The entire battle doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's so <laughs> stupid. The Jedi, what are those? Even though I was literally alive during the Clone Wars, what are Jedi? Wait, but the Jedi weren't involved in- oh. Disney's desperate to have the Jedi be mythical. Yeah, I think it's the aspect they want them to be all, you know, whimsical and fairy tale like almost. You want they want to return to the OT. Yeah. Also, this flashback just told me his parents are fucking way. retarded. Is the jetpack not going to set his cape on fire? Also, this is the way. Just keep saying it. That's just mm -hmm. the way, guys. This oh the way. wow, that's so cool. That shot. Dark saber, edgy the hedgy. <laughs> Shut up! No, it's in the law, Friggy. That means it's okay. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> For anybody who uses that counter, it's a black lightsaber. Do you understand? There's no. <laughs> wait, wait. Is that supposed to be a lightsaber? I thought it was oh, a yeah. vibro sword. Oh, or oh, what's what they called? Someone will correct you. They'll be like, "It's not a lightsaber, fool!" And be like, "Shut oh, the fuck so up!" Have... So, who wants to put money on this episode? being filler like every other episode. No wait, this one won't be right because it's episode one. This one, it's yeah. episode one, yeah. The next one, two, three, four, five episodes will be filler. <laughs> it was one, one, three, seven, eight, right? It was the, yeah. Was, yeah. It was half of the season. God, I really wish this show was good. I want good space bounty <laughs> hunter content. I love like the look of everything. Yeah, yeah. Maybe Matt. we'll actually get, maybe we'll actually get like bounty hunting in this bounty hunting show? Maybe. I doubt it though. Yeah. Uh, one of the yeah, casual things I heard was the block. baby Yoda is oh, bringing like the show down. Right? Oh my god. You remember C3PO? I do. He's the one with the. Uh, he was like the beep beeps and stuff and rolls around. I feel like that would be closed all the time if that was me. Oh, hey. Do you just stand here in the door? He's a bouncer. Enjoy the fight. I guess he is. Whoa. Also, Mando, the baby. The baby. <laughs> To come with you. <laughs> Why does are we? I guess we're carrying that on as a, a thing for Mando. Is that he's, I know it's right behind, but he doesn't. You know what I mean? Somebody I wish, could take that kid. That's what I mean. I wish you know, he cared more weird. about the baby, considering it's his fucking major concern. Yeah. And he's just someone could just grab it and go. Close the fucking lid, you numpty. It's really likely someone here knows about this. Wherever I go, he goes. Well, that's not even true. What about episode five of season one? <laughs> I can locate other Mandalorians. They can help guide me. Hmm? I'm told you know. Where oh yeah, to they'll be thrilled them. to see you. It's not cool to talk. <laughs> Surely a bunch of people could help guide him, right? Not just Mandalorians. Yeah, why would Mandalorians be the ones that can help him? Yeah. It's... Finish him. To the do it. Come on. I don't have... All you have to put up in exchange is your shiny best car armor. What? I'm not going to pay you for the information. I'm not leaving my fate up to chance. Yeah. You, kinda, you kinda do that a lot though, Mando. Wait, what? You can't Surely do that! What? Oh. Wait. What? Well, okay. What? Quick, aim at his best car. Why would you shoot that guy? He's, he's not nice. aiming at the armor though, Hard that's a new one. Precious. Yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah, <got> he's <laughs> aiming at Not all of them are getting it right. The best car yeah. value continues to rise. Two of them are gonna, like, grown quite be in for a shock. <laughs> Give it to me now, I will peel it off your corpse. Just shoot him. Tell shoot me him. where the Mandalorians shoot are, him. and I'll walk out of here without killing you. I thought you said you weren't the gambler. So oh, you got more of these? All right. I'm not. Oh, I feel so like funny. someone sort of seen that. Okay, guess You're not. dead. Oh, what are you doing? Is, shoot! Dude, he is so lucky they didn't fire. Oh my god, why would you punch him in the helmet? Why would you punch a guy with best why guy? Why you did it again? Why are you punching him? <laughs> Shoot him what, with your what gun! What the fuck? He punched him three times in the helmet! 
He keeps specifically hitting him in the armor. <laughs> so those rockets didn't kill him. Okay. Quick, get your knife back. Man, that's nah. straight in his nipple. Oh wait, no, it's not. <laughs> wow, that's insane. Now well, we're off to a good start. <laughs> it really bugs me when you've got a gun on someone's head, and then they do a thing that takes a while. In response, it's like, oh, I'll just shoot you then. Yeah, yeah. But they someone just of don't. those guys should have seen that there's like a shiny thing at his arm lighting up, right, activating stop, or whatever. Stop. I'll tell you where he is. But you must give me your word that you won't kill me. I promise you will not die by my hand. Now where's oh, the feed? I'm gonna feed him to the it's fucking be monsters. someone else that kills him. It's gonna be those dogs that eat him. Yeah. The Mando I know of. He's on Tatooine. Oh, remember Tatooine? Tatooine. 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 Tatooine again? God damn. I've spent much time on Tatooine. I've never seen a Mandalorian there. Then it's a planet, Mando, you fucking yeah. cock. <laughs> you searched the whole planet? Don't you need your grappling hook? Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna feed him to the things. Okay. I'll, I'll be honest, man. I, I think that counts as being by your hand. Yeah, that's not a very honorable thing to do. <laughs> It's just a dick move. It's a fucking. This is like this is like the <laughs> devil with technicalities on his deals. <laughs> this is fucking Gunter O'Dim shit. See, if if he had hung me up and said, I, "You will not die by my hand," I'd be like, "No, that's not good enough. You're a piece of shit." <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, it's the music. Yay, music. Oh, Tatooine. Why are we? Because <sighs> remember Tatooine? Christ's sake! Everything what happens on sad Tatooine. People. <laughs> oh, uh, this no! You better not be in this fucking episode. Apparently so. Is he gonna go to Tatooine at least once per season for a quest? I feel like there are more planets in this universe. Does he allow the droids to fix him this time? Because he's he trusts droids now, yeah. May as well let them have at it. The crest needs a good once over. So he likes droids now. He got over that deep seated fear and like. Yep, what a fucking lame. Five, ugh. Because that five minute redemption IG fucking bullshit. <laughs> I need your help. Oh, oh that was funny. Oh. Yeah, sure, I can trust time. you. We met once. <laughs> like I, I did everyone else in season one. Where is Moss Pelgo? It was wiped out by bandits. Once the Empire fell, it was a free for all. Thanks for giving more arguments why the Empire kept That's things exactly. good. <laughs> this is a map of Tatooine before the war. And up around this region, Mos Pelgo. This map is almost useless, anything. lady. Well, it's there, <laughs> or at least it used to be. Where See are we looking? Of metal yeah, like, which of these? This is like a quasi-topographical map. You still have map that speeder that bike. Is, yeah. uh, sure it's is. also still it's spinning a little bit, so it. it'll probably move. Do you have, like, wait, <laughs> you have, like, paper? Surely he would go there with his ship, because it's really far away. Well, yeah, because he would fly... The, well, I guess the ship's damaged again, so he can't oh, take it's just, it? Oh, it's just damaged again, okay. It's broken, it just needs a once-over? Well, then wait for the once-over to happen. And yeah. then take your ship with the big laser cannons and the bed and your supplies and I'm your armory. Why, did, why not just leave Baby Yoda behind? Fuck it. Everywhere you don't he care. Goes, <laughs> he, yeah, he goes. He left Baby Yoda there once before. I know, fine. but not anymore. There's not, even a, there's not even a threat there Red, anymore. Killing out with sad people with Baby Yoda right there. <laughs> Remember, he's, he's, he's doing the thing funny. he did before with the sign language that's coming in handy again. Just go to the place on the map where she pointed. I don't know why you had to stop and have a fireside. I guess, Chat. uh, she was too vague. That qualifies as a moss? Alright. Should have taken the ship. Yeah, it was like a two-day drive instead of a ten-minute <laughs> flight. Yeah. You were very exposed, Mando. This... this place doesn't look real in the way that, I you guess know, they, they're going for, like, old, you know, old west out. Yeah, out and, and this is kind of run down, I guess. It looks very neat. It looks very neat, you're right. I think that's what's catching me off guard, is that it looks... It doesn't look clean, it but it looks like neat. A set. Yeah, it, yeah, looks, it looks like, like a set. set that they put up. Where did they get all the wood? Desert tree. You're not... You're not Did... picking them up? You wow. Them up? Oh, wow. You? What the fuck? <laughs> wow. Holy shit. This that's is why insane. I said leave it with the woman. Jesus. What, what the fuck? Oh, I air Can I help you? Wow, it just... I'm looking for a Mandalorian. Well, we don't get many visitors in these parts. Someone <laughs> didn't answer my like question, me. but okay. <laughs> Is he gonna be there in the doorway? Marshall. <laughs> Howdy. Boba Fett. Is that, that Boba Fett's armor? It does look like it. Brings you here, stranger. Looks a little wrong on this guy. Yeah. Are drink? all the liquids in this universe blue? Did he just happen to turn up, or? Delorean. Timothy Oliphant. Oh, hey. I know you're good at killing. 
Well, You're probably none too happy to see me wearing this hardware. I figure only one of us walking out of here. Why? But then what? I see the little guy. Maybe I picked you wrong. Do you have a straw? I can't drink that. Put your helmet back on. I thought this guy's a fucking pushover. Or I will. Put your helmet back on. You gonna do this in front of the kid? Oh, the kid is fine. It's we'll worse. worse. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> like I'm the marshal. Like if you kill me, you're in what trouble. What do you think's gonna happen? <laughs> what if the bartender is like, can you not do it here? <laughs> Is this like a, a meme? What's happening? Like something's gonna happen and they won't fight. Oh, yeah. well, lucky. Right on cue. <laughs> Dude, see? Yeah, it's, Timothy Oliphant's too, like, big to have him for two minutes and then kill him off straight away. <laughs> <laughs> He's here for the whole episode. Run, Bartender the man, run! <laughs> My favorite that door opened right. before he hit the button. Jesus Christ, how much he don't, doesn't care about Baby Yoda frustrates the hell out of me. Mm hmm. Is it a big, like, spice worm? Is this Arrakis? Ooh, it is a worm. Oh my goodness. It might be Arrakis. Um, wow, your Man. town is fucked. Is this in any way common? Because this town shouldn't be here. Man, lucky it goes in a straight fucking line. Is that, is that like, quicksand at this point? <laughs> yeah, I feel like sand is still packed really thick. I don't know, maybe it's... It's just really powerful. Strong. Yeah. Aww. Sand shark! I guess this is the mission then. Kill the Why would they leave it out? Maybe we can work something out. They still have to take off that armor. Well, so they're aware that this is a problem? And they Why are they still their... here? <laughs> yeah, like, fuck off. Go to Moss Eisley. Go somewhere. They have to like... rebuild the town each time. <laughs> no, they have, to, they have to put everything back up. <laughs> Fucking Gary to had to have his banther outside. Forces. It fucked everything up again. Before, thanks to this armor, I've been able to protect this town from... Bandits, sand people, they look to me to protect it's them. It's magical. It, all my, all the shots they take in the armor. Where is your helmet? <laughs> Where is the helmet? In the bar. You guys are trying to get the money's worth out of the actor. Yeah, I mean, that is what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> they want us to know it's Timothy Olaf. Right Help me kill it, I'll give you the, the, give you the armor. No, I'll just shoot you now and take great. it like I was going to do so a moment simple. ago. What the fuck is up with these big gaps in the armor? Uh, that creature's been terrorizing these parts since... Long before most Pelgo was established. Wow. Thanks to this Dude, armor, where the fuck I've been did you to build a town, town here? <laughs> yeah. I'll ride back to the ship, blow it out of the sand from the sky, use the bantha as bait. Wow. Not so simple. A ship passes above, it senses the vibration, stays underground. Bullshit. Poor shit. What Poor if you go shit. really, really high though? How far? Just hover. Yeah. What if you go very high? What? If, what if you just have the ship parked? You telling me this thing, like, knows what ships are? Pod oh, he's got a bigger peen. And yeah, that is definitely a pod racer reference right there. You don't understand what it was like. You can't oh, I guess you cannot hear him. <laughs> yeah. It started after we got news of the Death Star blowing up. What? The second one, that is. <laughs> what? We didn't even have time to celebrate that very night. The mining collective moved in. <laughs> wow, what a bunch of dicks. <laughs> Most Pelgo became a slave camp overnight. Slave camp? Whoa, whoa, Wait, you need whoa. <laughs> what? Do you guys know what that you need, it? in order to have slaves, people have to be alive? <laughs> yeah, yeah, most likely, yeah. We're just gonna kill everyone so that we can, what? Let everybody know where boss. Even if people company is like, yeah, we're gonna need, like, people. Oh, he clearly would have wow, seen you. Wow, that he didn't <laughs> see you. Oh, wow, he, he really he, didn't. He, wow, do. okay. <laughs> Took what I could from the invaders. Grabbed a Camtono. I had no idea it was full of silicax crystals. Yo, it's a speeder. No Take it, it leave. Full of silicax crystals. Where are you running? I guess everyone's <laughs> I don't know. Sunshine I don't know. On a didn't run all the way. Wait, I what? <laughs> Man, this plan. <laughs> I wandered for days. Days? days? Food. Gonna steal their stuff. Water. Dude, I'm not even away. sure you can make it one day in like a blistering sun. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you didn't see that. <laughs> Look, he was dehydrated. Shut up. Why are you misting your mouth? It's so, how did Boa Fett lose it? Whoa. Uh, I guess the Salak vomited the armor back up or something. Yeah. I mean, he has an armor, but does he have any fighting experience? You're still very open to being wounded, my friend. Yeah, most of your body is actually still uncovered. I feel like these guys in blue helmets should be a little bit more concerned. They should immediately stop fucking doing something. Man, 
Oh, oh, yep. There we go. Uh, and he stopped shooting. He stopped shooting. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. I'm so cool. Look at me. Are they all running away? They're all oh, running they're away? Is he gonna blow it up? Yeah, probably. Keep your head How'd down you there, get mate. That's Man, where are you going to get more of those rocks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he have one, right? Doesn't he have one on his back now? Dude, right? <laughs> this has been a disaster. <laughs> this has been very bad already. I'm pretty sure he does. Yeah, I he still... does. He does. Yeah, you can does. see it there. Got... I still can't get over oh, yeah, the fact that they were just like... It's almost like they're trying to autocorrect for fucking season uh, one, episode four, where it was use the ship. He's like, we can't because reasons. At least we're going to explain the stupid fucking reason. Oh, you remember to bring your gun this time. That's good, Mando. Yeah, well done. Where's your helmet? You Why hasn't he got his helmet? Fuck me. It's the yeah. actor. Okay. What? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Nice AK. You can speak wild dog, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I learned this in Mandalorian school. Also, he could have been <clears throat> easily betrayed here by this guy. It always annoyed me that Mando's never taken enough precaution with anyone he meets. Wait, if you can just speak to him, what's with the point of the sign language? Maybe they're like in conjunction with hey, each partner. other. They want to kill the Kray Dragon too. Oh. Oh, that's convenient. Oh, well, I feel like one visit from the crate dragon to this, these, like a camp like this, and they're all dead. Why is it that you uh, need a bantha to attempt one of those things instead of several people? You know, mm. wouldn't several people be like, "Ooh, shit, that's nummy treats, like chicken nug nugs." Yeah, you mm. think that a beast that size on a planet like this would be fucking desperate for yeah. calories, whatever it can get them? Yeah, you know, it's just a uh, speaking Tuscan. <laughs> really? <laughs> Better than speaking frog. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what are the, just doing some drugs now. I guess that's me. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Coyote. I know that doesn't look healthy. Do you want their help? How they're not. They're not going to help this. you kill the crate dragon unless you drink their berry juice. Okay. I defended the town. Lower your voice. Yeah, this was a bad idea. These monsters can't be real. Dude, you're surrounded. Why? Are you? <laughs> I don't know that that's a good idea either. I feel like that's. <laughs> Still can't get over the <laughs> making these noises. They reversed footage. If we fight amongst ourselves, the monster will kill us all. <laughs> no, it won't. It apparently doesn't. No, as just long as you're out of the How? you're okay. Oh boy. How come it doesn't like eat you? Like, how are these not the biggest here? targets in the history of fucking Tatooine right now? Because it went to a busy town to eat one mantha, but this fucking mobile buffet is just oh, not good. <laughs> yeah. Also, I feel like this kind of might create problems. Like, how many of these things are there? Is it just the one, and is it just lucky that it never went to Moss Eisley? Maybe Moss Eisley's too busy? It gets spooked by vibrations, so... Carl down there drew the short straw. <laughs> <laughs> Can I come back now, guys? I say it lives in there. I say it sleeps. <laughs> Feed the dragon to make it sleep longer. <laughs> Why does he oh, not for leave? Sure. Why does he Just not leave. Off? Go, run, make haste <laughs> away. Like, oh shit, right, I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, oh no, god, oh no. Oh, well, that's a monkey. Like how the wow. panther was just like, yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Seems dangerous. What? Why would I... he not eat the panther? Why wouldn't it eat the panther? I guess it didn't make as much noise. That's so stupid. Is that scene just gonna end? <laughs> um. Okay. Wait, but what? Uh, what? It was good. What? <laughs> it went that far to eat the other panther. What was the plan in that scene, by the way? <laughs> I thought they were there to watch. Okay. They wanted what to they feed it. I, I feed it because it makes like it sleep for longer. Like if yeah. you voluntarily surrender food to it. But it was. It only just wanted a little snack, I guess. I don't know how many. Where are they getting the reinforcements? I volunteered your village. How do they feel about this? Yeah, I don't know that that's a thing you can do. Yeah. Why do you need that many people? You just need banthas. Town respects you. <clears throat> My guess is they'll listen to reason. Uh, that's not reasonable. It wouldn't be so <laughs> yeah. I would like you to become bait for the giant worm. Be reasonable. <laughs> Here 
Look, it's just a matter of time before it grows tired of Banthas and goes after a couple of you townsfolk or even, so help us, the school. So why are you here? <laughs> and more fond of this There's got to be like three kids, maybe? The Mandalorian is willing to help us There's slay so the Leviathan. It. it gets tired of the big food, so it gets the small food. The it will swallow your entire town when the fancy hits it. You're lucky most Pelgo is in a sand field already. Why would You're it do that? Lucky Pelgo is in a sand field Why didn't it do that already? <laughs> If the Tusken Raiders give it Banthas, then how come it's attacking the village? I don't understand why it would ever come to this village. The Tusken Raiders have so many Banthas. If we are willing to leave them the carcass and its ichor, they will stand by our side in battle and vow never to raise a blaster against this town until one of you breaks the peace. Yeah, I don't believe them. Mm, I'm pretty sure it would be an amazing harvest, whatever you can get from that creature. Yeah. And they get to have all of it. It's like, hmm, that seems like an unfair deal. But you guys get to keep your town. It's like, okay, but it was ours We're anyway. Kind of <laughs> if the town was ours, then it's also not really that great. Yeah, it's pretty shit. I don't see why you need a whole bunch of random people. I just don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> good, but... The music is really good. Stop yelling at him for dropping explosives. Now, if we have another accident, we might all blow up. So don't have another accident, please. <laughs> okay, wait, so they have explosives. Yeah. And yeah. if you drop them, they explode so they're all just huddled around it. So all you need is to put explosives on one bantha on and feed the bantha, bantha to the, yeah. the creature. I am not Holy convinced fuck. that just because it ate a person instead of a bantha, that... I don't understand what the fuck's happening. What is the point of all of this? Yeah. Why they need the village again? You need one dude with one bantha. That's all you need. Yeah. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Crazy levels of effort for this. Man, they're going crazy with the wide shots and establishing yeah. shots in this one. No wonder it's 50 minutes it's long. Hey, they bought a drone. It'd be real unfortunate if the bad, the, uh, not the bad, the, the little sad thing just was like, oh, I'm hungry now. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Time to eat. Wow, that one Tusken Raider was delicious. Look at what we have now. Oh, this guy's you the short Man, straw. Man, doing this plan again. <laughs> Wait, so what? Now he hasn't got explosives with him. I don't understand what that are we plan doing? at all. At least Baby Yoda's in the shot, so everything is. Wait, working. was that guy holding his drugs? <laughs> Why? I'm so confused. Feeling vibrations. But that was a continuity error. Yeah, his gun was down now. Around. <clears throat> but why? All right, mud. Why are you drinking it now? I don't understand why you're doing it now. Let's the get last thing work. you want to do right before your battle is risk drinking something disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Why do you need the town spot? I I don't understand the fuck is happening right now. The belly is the only weak spot. The belly. Wouldn't it be okay. better if you we had it consume the bombs? Yeah. What? I think you have to what the fuck you are you doing? Do what is this? Things. What the fuck? Wait, so they're uh, saying that it's vulnerable on the belly. If, if it's the belly, look how little they they dug in. Like they need to go way <laughs> way deeper yeah, like, than this. Also, I'm cool with a worm's weaker side being the underbelly. I just don't understand why this is the plan instead of having it eat a fucking bantha. You did not establish thoroughly that this thing will not eat a bantha. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm okay with its belly being vulnerable, but like surely <laughs> it, its insides are more vulnerable yeah. because that's where it's like organs and stuff are. Why do they need the towns for? I don't know. To help I guess to stop. What? We have ballistas with no shovels. They're so like the idea here is to everything. draw it out and blow up when it's on top of the on bombs. Of the... Yeah. What if it doesn't cross over that one specific spot? Yeah. Then I guess you screwed. I feel like our plan was way better, guys. <laughs> they can do this whole crazy, stupid plan while we could do our plan at the same time, because ours costs very little resources compared. <laughs> yeah, we could do it with us four. You know how, like, if they're worried, like, oh, it only eats humans now, it's just, okay, just walk around with a bantha. <laughs> It'll have to eat how the bantha, it... too. If it's sleeping underground, how does it hear you? I don't I know. I guess it sleeps above ground for some reason. That's weird. I wonder who the first person wants to learn how to call this giant sand. <laughs> you guys have the right idea. Yeah, they don't run it real quick. Uh-oh, what if it digs too deep under the bombs and it hits its top side? What are you gonna do there? Oh, it came up. It's okay. Shoot it in the mouth. Shoot it in the mouth. Shoot it in its big fucking mouth. I like how the sand people... Uh, like... Well... What are you doing? What are you waiting I don't... for? What? Oh, I guess that guy fell. He just tripped over! Of course, he fell right there. Are we blowing it up or what? No, there's no Did way you you're pulling that. <laughs> That's not happening. Yeah, what?! What are you what doing? <laughs> Why let don't go. you let, let it go? go? Let go! Let go! 
What? No, wait. We only have one shot. We've got to get it out. I mean, yeah, why would you Why would you do it now? Like, are they, what are they throwing? I think they want to come back out. Well, wait till he opens his, this, like, video game. You can throw one. an explosive in its mouth at this point. Yeah. Oh, you guys suck. I like how they're just throwing rocks at home. Stop falling over! Dude, they've already got two casualties. Like, Should have planted the bombs closer to the fucking cave, apparently. Shoot its mouth. I feel like this worm thing. If it's smart enough to understand the danger of, like, ships, it should probably be like, okay, so this is clearly a trap. Yeah, so this isn't. This is unpleasant. Oh man, I can't believe that happened. What? Oh! Yes! Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay then. Holy fuck. How? I'm curious if they'll defeat it by having it swallow explosives, as if that was like never a good idea to begin with. I so all of those people are in incredible danger right now. Yeah, fucking okay. uh, oh. Wait, what? Why is it a blade? Oh no! Um... Uh... <laughs> wait, that guy just stood still? What the right. fuck? Holy fuck. Uh -huh. We bring our guns. You it's... stay here, baby Yoda. It's completely safe. Oh, well, I guess you, they you both have jetpacks, don't they? You got us helmet back. How do you get jetpack fuel? Also, what's the plan? Go after it. Oh, okay. That's okay, we have our guns. Why do you expect uh -oh. us to do fucking anything? Shoot his eye or something. Just keep shooting. Even Burke's a superhero. <laughs> so. Really? Also, yeah, aim for the eye would be a smart move right now. I think, yeah, you'd shoot the eye. I can't believe they still haven't considered throwing a bomb in its fucking mouth. It's like, <laughs> no, right. It's like the first thing hey, you guys, think of. Hey guys, we went up there and shot it and it didn't do anything. Why the oh, fuck did we waste there, so much time? There was, oh, there's a there banter. Was, there's a banter yeah, with bombs on it. There was some of the banter with bombs on it, to their right. Maybe if we bait it into biting the fucking banter with the bombs, maybe <laughs> that would work. Go away. It's clearly dangerous. Also, it's yeah. interesting that they didn't spend those bombs, I guess. Lucky they didn't spend them, you know? How are there any people left at this point? Yeah, how many of them are Oh, look! Oh my goodness, Wait a look minute. at that! Oh. I've got an idea. Oh. 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 Guys, what if... Oh. What if it eats the bantha while it has bombs on it? Oh. I don't know, but wish me luck. What, what the fuck? Dude! What?! Just tell him to fly away! Just tell him to go! What the fuck's wrong with you? You could have killed like him. The last time that happened, Boba Fett got fucking it. You kidding me? He, that Boba Fett ain't out it's running a that third, thing. Mando. Um, yeah. Yeah. What the fuck do you think's gonna happen? Go. Go. What are you doing? Ah. Uh, Did he get it? Is he gonna get pooped out? Is this gonna be like Jonah and the whale? He could have just said leave. Yeah, I know. That was really dumb. This whole episode's been fucking dumb. What the fuck? I'm sorry, huh? What? He electrocuted himself <laughs> out of there, I guess. He shocked himself out of there? Yeah. Whoa! That's an explosion thingy that just happened. Damn. Explosion was a lot bigger. Yeah. How do, How are you alive? He's got the saliva on his helmet, too. How is that acid it? not eating through yeah, you? Yeah, that would fuck you up. Come Whether on. or not Beskar is immune to that shit, his cloth, like, yeah, clothing isn't. Not. Yeah, we did it. I can have my I, shitty bar. I like how they're so happy. Look at how many casualties they sustained. <laughs> yeah, you had like a dozen dudes get killed. Wow, guys, if only we had had one dude with one bantha <laughs> this whole fucking fight. Yeah, they're like, wait, we could have done that the whole fucking time? Yeah. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have been... <laughs> now remember, only the Sen people are allowed to harvest this. I hey, look, considering how many of their guys died, <laughs> it's probably fair. I don't How know, does a I, creature I, get to be this size in the fucking desert? I don't get it. I don't get what it's eating. That's space, I guess. Well, well it's, it's not Banthas, apparently. Oh, you have yeah. to... Not good enough. Ew, don't touch it, Baby Yoda. Sorry. I didn't have time to explain. No, you did. You literally did. I was gonna Ow, kill my you. head! There's, there's acid crushing. everywhere! <laughs> As do I. <laughs> oh. Don't you have to find a Mandalorian? Yeah, well, this is a side mission, Rags. As the whole season will be a fucking side mission. Oh my goodness, who's this? That's Boba it's Fett. It's a Tusken Raider without a helmet. That's gotta be Boba Fett. That's probably it's Boba Fett. It's Boba Fett. Hey, it's Boba Fett. Oh, it's Boba Fett! Wait, what? Is it? Yeah, that's Boba Fett. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Man! 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that's that's worse than episode one, maybe, of the last season. I oh, don't know. Yeah, yeah, it could be. Uh that was pretty bad. So many wow. stupid decisions. <laughs> and then of course this like first things first, that so this town was built after this snake thing was fucking up the entire environment, eating all the panthers. <laughs> like, yeah, let's just build it here, I guess. I don't know. And then it's attacked only what when someone leaves a panther outside, Is that... <laughs> and then only straight through the walkway. Yeah, it never fucks up. Because I like that they're like, oh look, everyone's repairing the town after an attack, and it's just like, what, 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 what like, how no, do you? <laughs> things back up. If ever it attacked you in quite the right way, it would fuck up everything. Also, how often does it attack? Because it was pretty fucking lucky it arrived right when uh, Mando <laughs> yeah. was about to assassinate the fucking sheriff. What if they just yeah. shot each other in armor constantly? <laughs> it just keeps bouncing back and forth <laughs> in one long, blast. Battle. Collateral damage claims the entire town. Days go by. They're still shooting each other's armor. Uh, yeah, it just, just left a fucking helmet everywhere except at the help. last fucking Imagine. thingy fight. Didn't like wearing helmets, what? <laughs> he also has new rockets, apparently. I don't know where he got those from. Maybe those are standard issue rockets. I don't know. Bought, bought a couple with his crystals that he picked up from the back of that speeder that he gave to the Jawas, who happened to come by with the armor that he needed to save the day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that uh, lucky he didn't die. Lucky he was able to snatch one the one thing he would need to do what he did. Yeah. Lucky he wasn't shot. Lucky he wasn't seen by that guy. Oh man. So sick of this fucking luck plot. Plot. <laughs> lines it's like oh i escaped well, i'll luckily. be honest with metal like it's it's less to do <laughs> it's just shitty writing like that's what it is right you want yeah. stuff to happen and so out of all the things that could happen you just have the thing you want happen and it's like yeah. you understand mr writer person that's not exactly that's a, likely not very interesting either a fucking opening fight too where the guy's like i'm gonna shoot you through your deck <laughs> and then he's like nah i'm gonna fire all these the amount of time it takes for those things to fire and then actually hit the dude who he had a gun on, mm. who got, had a gun on him, it's so fucking dumb. Wouldn't it have been real unfortunate like... if one of those things hit and they accidentally squeezed the trigger? Yeah, well, the, luckily yeah, for Mando, not... only one of them had a kill shot on him, I think. Maybe two. I think two. Even yeah. though this guy clearly knows what Beskar is. I'm so fucking cool. Yeah, the, like... the dude who sh fucking punched him in the helmet three times. <laughs> The first punch, the guy punches Mando, and the force of the punch makes him push his helmet back into the guy who's grabbed him behind him and not, like, knock him the fuck out. <laughs> How fucking retarded is that? I like that after every hit, he holds his hands like, Ow, ah, let's do it again. Ah, fuck. Oh, it's not gonna work this time. Ah. It's the third, <laughs> the third punch, Mando plays into it. Like, yeah, punch my helmet, bitch. It's gonna hurt you. And it's just like, why? why? <laughs> Well, that was bad. So. Yeah. And I've heard that's the best one, by the way. Oh, oh hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what I signed up for. Right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. That was recorded. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, I, I didn't make notes. It was too dense. I just did that. It even... was a pretty simplistic episode to commentate on in terms of the stupid. Mando goes to town looking for information from a Mandalorian. Turns out it's a fake Mandalorian. Also, this guy will give you the fake, well, the stolen armor if you help him just kill a giant worm. And instead of saying no, Mando, the stupid fucking asshole that he is, is like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll help I'll you kill this thing. Even though I left all the armor behind in the last episode of the last season, the blacksmiths will be okay, I guess. And like, uh, I guess I already knew because I knew that Tamura Morrison or whatever it was was coming back. But um, yeah, Boba Fett's also alive, and I say also in reference to Emperor Palpatine was alive. Yeah. Blah 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 is still alive. Darth Maul is still alive, and I know people are gonna be like, "Well, but, but he was alive in the Clone Wars." Oh, but the, he was alive, and it's like, I, I, do you not like? Uh... It's the same <laughs> I hope they don't do Boba Fett dirty. They probably will, but I really hope that Boba Fett's like actually really cool and amazing. Please and he doesn't let him need be competent. Yeah, I just want him to be really fucking. I want him to make Mando look like a joke. I want him to be no. I'm the real fucking deal. Like he yeah, beats yeah. Mando without armor. That'd be nice. Yeah, he doesn't need fancy gadgets and equipment. He can outthink and outsmart, outplan, outweight. He's been biding his time. He's like, yeah, I escaped the fucking Sarlacc, asshole. Oh, you have plot guess, armor. Who knows what they'll do with it. I wonder how he lost his armor. I'm curious exactly how all of that went down, yeah. Maybe he traded it to the Jawas for <laughs> something he needed at the time? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. I guess we'll find out. Yeah.
on the next episode of The Mandalorian. See you then, folks. Oh, wait, no. Bye.